Welcome back everybody, and if you couldn't tell by the beginning of this video, I got some race car parts in the mail today. So stick around and see what I got. Let's go. So these next two things are actually from Speed Logic. Uh, put their website down below. I ordered a few things from them. They, uh, I'm pretty sure they do all Mopar stuff. I didn't see anything Chevy related or uh, Ford related on there. So I'm gonna crack this thing up real quick. Open. Alright, so the first thing uh, that I have here is a catch can. I went with the Speed Logics catch can. It's all billet. Um, I didn't want it powder coated or anything. I, I'm not in all the color matching stuff. And it's really nice. Really nice quality. Seems strong. Comes with a mounting bolt for your, your bracket here. I will do an install video on this, of course, and uh, probably in about a month or so after this is installed, I'll go ahead and crack it open and see how much oil was actually in it. But it's pretty nice quality. I mean, it's smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. But it'll do the job, and that's all that matters, right? Uh, came with two hoses. No hose clamps, so that was that's a bit odd that it didn't come with hose clamps. But it'll do for now, guys, it'll do. All right, now this is my favorite thing that I received in the mail. The HP Tuner stuff is exciting because I've been waiting to finish up the tune on the car. But this is uh, by far my favorite. This is the new pod um, for the car. So let's go ahead and head down stairs and we'll talk about this. All right guys, so now that I'm done here, um, let's go ahead and talk about the gauge pods that I got. A lot of people like to use the A-arm pillar, which is this one right here. And that's all fine and dandy. For me, um, I don't like it just because it does get in the way. Um, with these cars, they're already really big as it is. And I don't really want another two inches of no visibility when cornering and not only on the track but also in the streets in germany here the road's really tight and if you can see you know it obviously you're going to be able to drive better and avoid everything i don't have to worry about you know people stepping out because they do that here in germany they will just cross the road without any warning or signs at all so that's kind of out of the question and i really like with all with my Trans Am, for instance, I took one of the AC vents out and made a bezel, put it in there, put my gate, ran my gauge. It looks really clean, really, really tight, put together, and it looks OEM. It looks stock, and I kind of like to keep it that way. Uh, I'm not really into the whole, you know, gauges all over the place. The only gauges that I'm going to be running for this one will be my boost gauge and my AFR gauge for obvious reasons, you know. And pretty much everything else on these newer cars you can get. The SRT um, has oil, trans temp, intake air temp, you know, volts, all the, all the ones that you would really need. And that's fine. And then, of course, I'll have my HP tuners hooked up and I'll be able to get all the readings that I need anyways. So... Essentially what the plan is, is I'm going to use this. I got it from speedlogics.com. I'll go ahead and put a little link down below. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to replace my sunglass holder on the top console up there. And it will hold two gauges 
I'm not exactly sure on the size. But, you know, the average thing is like 52 millimeters, something like that. So I think this will look really clean uh, and well put together once it's in there. So let's kind of go over how it's going to look and some issues that I might have with it. All right, so this pod holder or gauge holder, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter, is going to go in place of my sunglass holder, which as you can see is empty. It has nothing in it. So what it's gonna do is it's going to sit right here. And yeah, right now you can't see anything out of the rear view, but keep in mind, this is gonna be gone. This will sit flush. Um, well, at least I hope it sits flush. If not, I'll trim a little bit off and fabricate it myself. But it should sit flush. And even if it does take off, you know, an inch, a quarter of an inch or however much out of the rear view, I still have both side mirrors and a backup camera. So I'm not really all that worried about it. I do think it's going to look really clean and uh, it's still, the pod is, is still going to be angled towards me. So I'm not going to have to take my eyes off the track to make sure that my AFRs are still good and, you know, I'm not running too much boost. And of course, I am going to be doing a uh, an install video on this, but right now there's just kind of like an update and unboxing, I guess you could say. I am trying to do more vlogging and kind of not get away from install stuff because I uh, obviously going to do the install stuff, but I feel like if I'm vlogging more, my subscribers will be more intact or more involved I should say I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera in front of people which was the hardest part for sure but just expect uh you know a little bit more posting when available I do work a lot so you got to keep that in mind and I got a lot of parts coming uh as you saw from this video I mean I just I went ahead and got the gauge pods I got the catch can i got the stuff from hp tuners and thank you guys very much for sending that so quickly and of course i got more parts on the way it is just hard being literally on the other side of the world to have parts shipped to you in a timely manner so no issues with the companies it's it's not on them it's just um i'm all the way on the other side of the world so it, it makes sense that's the update for right now uh you can expect some videos coming up pretty soon uh, as I start getting more stuff in, uh, I'm going to start tuning the vehicle, which I'm going to do a little vlog for that. I'm not going to show you all the secrets, because that's stuff you're going to have to learn on yourself. 